Philadelphia Citizens Bank Park. We're going to be treated to a gorgeous day for baseball on the show. It's the Chicago Cubs taking on the Philadelphia Phillies. Hi, folks. John Chomby alongside Chris Singleton and Singy here in Philadelphia. The hometown fans are excited. This is one of the best places to play when you're playing well. No one more passionate than these Philadelphia Phillies fans. And this ballpark's still one of the most beautiful parks in all of baseball. First pitch coming at you right after the break. To get started here. And on the hill for the Phillies, Zach Wheeler. What do we have on him? When he's on, Boog, he's really fun to watch. He takes the pressure off entire lineups. And typically, he doesn't need a ton of runs in support. No one should be surprised if he settles in. takes full control of this game. Here's the second base. Nico Horner. Nico Horner. The why to kick the pitch. Fastball for a strike. And we underway first pitch one o'clock the pitch turned on but foul wide of third oh and two now gets a piece and stays alive. Got to be careful here. This is the type of hitter that can punish you, even with pitches outside the zone. And One that's ball. outside. He's getting as a pitcher, it really allows you to start expanding the zone. Hitters become defensive. They can live up in the zone all game if hitters will chase it. That's just too much velocity. Hitters got to look down in the zone. He's on strikes. Came out of his mechanics there. Typically he likes to shoot the ball the other way. to hit yeah. and a swing and a miss there on one <laughs> two out spaces empty Strikes out in order. And now it's the Phillies' turn. No score. Watch Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. Back at Citizens Bank Park, Edge starting pitcher, Justin Steele. Great sinker. Although it's not his primary pitch, it's really a pitch that he can go to, misses the of the bat gets ground balls and lets the defense work behind. It comes up to hit here. Here comes a pitch. That's towards center. Bellinger drifts towards it. Makes the grab. And there's one away. And time now for the Phillies lineup. And the key to victory for them here, get their starters some run support early. Boog, if they can get him that run support early, it's likely the other team folds because they know how dominant he can be once he gets settled in. So put pressure on that other team right away, jump out to a lead early, and a few runs, it's going to feel oh, like 30. Trey Turner in the box lays off for ball one.
And a pitch. Bounced up the middle. Swanson on the run. Well, he did all he could at short to try to make the make done, but good hustle down the line. That's an earned infield hit. Here's Bryce Harper, known for his late inning heroics. Fastball for a strike. Hold one to count. Snap throw to first. Safe. And he's back safely. Base runner with a one-way lead right there. All he's trying to do is get a look at the pitcher's move. Had no intent of stealing on that pitch. Turner runs. They pitch out. Goals. Too late for the throw. Singy, he definitely showed off the wheels there. Yeah, and it turned out to be a bang-bang play. StatCast gives it data, and that stolen base wasn't possible without that sprint speed. The winning run on second base. And that one clips the corner. Really going after him here. All fastballs to get ahead in the count. Hit connect on the curveball struck him out. Well, that's a curveball that people like to describe as a hammer or that Uncle cool. Charlie, and you can no see way. why. It's not yeah. a looping slow curve. Tough. He there throws it go. hard, and it gets plenty of bite on the end. Nick Castellanos at the plate now. First ball offering one, misses no badly for ball one. Turner on its second with two down. Swings and misses. And it's one and one. Movement in the bullpen. Mark Leiter Jr. Up throwing for manager Craig Council. Number 43 also getting ready. Should have this one. Philly strand one, scoreless after one. Back here in Philadelphia, all set for the start of the inning. And here's the veteran outfielder, Cody Bellinger. the top of the zone well right there and looks pretty good if he doesn't love it he's not gonna my drive that's one nothing well there you go the rbi machine another clutch run scoring it back yeah he's been so good at these situations call it clutch if you want but his resume speaks for itself. Dansby Swanson stands in. First offering, and it just misses. Wheeler, 33 years old, and he was awarded a gold glove in 2023. And a 1-0. That one fouled off. Runner on the goal. Pitch in for a strike. Throw. Tag. Ow. A bullet from JT Real Muto. Usually when you see a team try to steal a base in the early innings, it tells you they want to be aggressive on offense. Try to force the defense to make plays and slow them down. That's exactly what they did right there. So we'll see if that call stealing changes the offensive approach moving forward. Struck 
him out. Now two away. Now will be the Cubs DH. Christopher Morell. And that's in the dirt. One run across in the frame so far here at the top of the second. Swing and a miss. Now one and two. One ball, two strikes. And there's a ball. Center, that's a base hit. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. So, Singy, let's dive into the numbers. Courtesy, do you even feel contact being made when you hit a ball that hard? No, I don't think so, Boog. I mean, that's just the best feeling in the world as a hitter. You square it perfectly, and it's like you didn't even swing the bat. And there are times the ball feels heavy off your bat, you know it, but. This is not one of those cases. He sent this one flying 114 miles per hour. So, well, plays made there, and that retires the side. So one run in the inning on this base hit. It's now 1-0. Back after this on the show. Back here in Philadelphia, ready to go for the last half of the inning. So digging in now for Philadelphia, Alec Bohm. Pitch. And a good eye there. And today's outs are valuable, so guys aren't just willing to give themselves up to advance a runner. They're trying to drive him in as well in the process. So I don't expect him to shorten up and just try to hit behind the runner here. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. One away. Just pulled Got off of it a that he's going to be able to go the other way to authority instead of a fly out to left this is Bryson stop and there's no doubt that they'll feed <laughs> intensity level has gone up a few notches for sure Down, Phillies down. He needs to make is his target. If you aim the outside corner, that slider's going to end up way off the plate. Perhaps look a little more down the middle, and you get it right where you want it. Breaking ball inside. Ball two. And now fouled off. Tying run at second. Yeah, the whole team trying to pull it out. Hey. And down on strikes he goes. In between, just not able to put the bat on the ball. for the Phillies. JT Real trying to deliver as the hero. Winning run at the plate. Bottom half of inning number two. And fouled off. This could end it. He's in safely at second. And a run comes in to score. Such great concentration. Everybody on their feet. 
through with a good swing. Brandon Marsh steps to the plate. On the ground, right side corner. That's the inning, and they limit the damage. A run and a man left. We head on now to the top of the third. All tied. Drops in there for a strike. Left hand batter waits. This to center field. And there's one down. Here's Nick Madrigal. The third bell, first base open. No reason to pitch to this hitter right here. Put him on, have the force at second first, perhaps getting any ending double play. It's the top of the zone for a strike. Kicks and deals. Swing and a miss, and he was cool. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. Man at second. Just misses with that one. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. Packs and misses. It's a strikeout. So the lineup flips over. Here's the Cubs leadoff man, Nico Horner. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. Inside just missed. Two down, go ahead, run in scoring position. We're here in the top half of inning number three. Clips the zone and one and one. Late with the swing there. Get that fastball right by him, slightly elevated. That's a confidence boost for this guy out there on the mound. See if he continues to climb the ladder. Not even close there. And that's ball two. At the belt and fires. Next offering is outside. Seiya Suzuki. On deck for the Cubs. Two down. And he hits a ground ball right side. On the run. Throw to first. He's got on the money. Nice play. One left for the Cubs. Score remains tight. 1-1. And we'll go back to the ballpark. And now the center fielder, Johan Rojas. And a pitch. That misses. 1-0. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't okay. have as much outside. That one. Hey. That time. 
And it's strike two. Well, he knows. They don't want to give him anything to hit. But when you've got opportunities to drive in runs, got him swinging. Man, there was no deviating from the fastball right there. He just kept coming after him with it. Here it is. And he just couldn't find a way to put it in play. So the Philly batting order turns over. Kyle Schwarber stands in for the Phillies. Off the mark there. And that's ball one. Steele checks the runner. And he's back in safely. This guy's got good power with one swing. He can win it for him. Bounce to the right side. Schwarber out of the play. Not a bad outcome in that spot. The runner moves up to third, and now it's a drive and a go-ahead run. No, it's not a knock, but at the end of the day, it's a good at bat. Here's Turner now. Reached on an infield single his first time. The shortstop takes the ball. Winning run at third, two down. Here in the last half of the third. And another ball. Clips the corner. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three-hole hitter coming up if he's won. Two outs. Swing and a foul ball at the plate. They'll do it again. Fights it off. He'll see it. Good battle here. About to be the eighth pitch of the at-bat. And he walked it. That's a great at-bat. He saw a lot of pitches and earned a walk. So two outs with runners on the corners. Bryce Harper to the plate. Went down on strikes his first time through. If you don't get ahead in the count, you can forget about having any success. To the right side. Phillies, a couple. Score is deadlocked at a wall. As we go to the top of the fourth, stepping in, Seiya Suzuki. Wheeler back to work. Check swing. Now we'll look down to first. No swing. Just held it back there. Runner edges away at second. And it's even up. And that's strike two. One ball, two strikes. Hey. And that's the first out. Typically, that high fastball, if it's close to the top of the on a hitter, if he's prepared for it, can get to it. But that one just had that little jump at the end, which ended a good spin rate on it, and it didn't decrease in velocity as that hitter's internal clock would expect it to and that's why you see the swing and miss Ian Happ the next come to him struck out looking his first time foul back our way and that's out of play
And it's second. Pitch is in for a strike, and it's 0-2. Swing and a miss. That's a strikeout. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. Ellinger. Single to drove in a run his first time. With the go ahead run standing in the first base is open, he can hurt you, so make him expand his zone. If he doesn't, give him a walk. Out there to center, Rojas. Try to get to it. Make the grab. Nice play. Now, Cubs leave one. Still tied. On one. Back here. The bank part. Ready to go. Bottom four. Now, Nick Castellanos. And here it comes. That missed by a lot. Though. And that is ball one. Wouldn't chase that time. That's out to the center field. They trust him in center field because he's capable of making plays on the run, and we saw it right there. That's a player you want patrolling center field. Someone who can attack the ball off the bat. Substitution now at second base. Here's the Phillies pinch runner, Edmundo Sosa. He's a potential run, so they're hoping he can score in a base hit. In the box with one away as he takes ball one. With the winning run standing at second. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Oh, and this one's plastic. High and deep. It's out its way. Out of here. Ball game. He powers that one out of here. And the Phillies walk it off. Hitting a walk-off homer is the kind of thing you dream about growing up. You're in the backyard, you're creating the most pressure-packed scenario, and what do you do? You come through with the big swing. Well, he was living a childhood moment right there. Nice swing of the bat, nice win for the team. And your final, 3-1. The Phillies hang on to win it. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chambi. Talk to you soon.